If you haven't already, launch Pro Tools Empowered Essential. You have several options here on the Quick Start screen. The session templates are great because they include preloaded tracks, instruments, and effects for the selected musical style. Let's get started and select the Rock Guitar template. You can rename your session, as well as change the location to save the file. Click Save and Pro Tools will load your new session. Let's take a quick look at a Pro Tools session. There are two main windows in Pro Tools. The Mix window, and the Edit window. You can use the keyboard shortcut Control equal, or Command equal on Mac, to toggle between the Mix and Edit windows. Every track in the Edit window has a corresponding channel in the Mix window. In the Mix window you have a Volume Fader, Solo, Mute, and Record Enable buttons, and above that, Pan Control. At the top of the window you have Inserts and Sends. Inserts are where you insert effects and signal processors. Here is the Sansamp preamp plugin inserted on a guitar track. When you want to add the same effect to multiple tracks, like reverb for example, you use the sends and return tracks. Here you can see that send A is set up for reverb. On the reverb return track is the Dverb reverb plugin. The sends allow you to send a track's audio signal to be processed. The more you send, the more effect you will hear. Let's switch to the edit window by pressing Control equal or Command equal on Mac. The transport controls appear at the top of the edit window. To the left is the counter which shows bars and beats, and can also display minutes and seconds. Next to that are your editing tools, and all of the tracks appear along the left side. Click the small triangle on the far right to show zoom controls. I'm going to click to zoom out so I can see more of the timeline. You can also click and drag to zoom. Let's also go to the Options menu and make sure that Loop Playback and Dynamic Transport are disabled or unchecked. In the next video, we're going to start building our song by bringing in one of the Pro Tools Essential Loops.